I've been banned from ever winning a ranked battle. A world of warships ranked by dangerously incompetent. I'm commanding the Nagato, tier 7 Japanese battleship, in a ranked battle on New Dawn map. Chart. New Dawn chart. When they're of the sea, they're charts. Not maps. Anywho, back to my rant. Seems recently that I'm not allowed to win a ranked battle. Either my shots miss, or they fail to get citadel penetrations. No matter how slow the enemy are moving, no matter how accurate my aim is, no matter that they're side on to me. Nope, nope, not allowed to do big pulse damage as a battleship. Nope, nope, nope. Unless the rest of my team has died like flies and we're losing. This battle is a case in point. So far, it's pretty much standard. Southern team has gone to B, northern team has gone to A. Our carrier is about to run aground. Our cruisers are mostly messing around. Providing air defence for our carrier, probably. Yes. Yes, let's be generous. That's what they're doing. They're not dithery. <laughs> All messing around. They're actually doing something useful. Our destroyer has rushed ahead to capture B and will shortly be charging the rest of the enemy fleet regardless of his own safety. Note the enemy carrier has been seen. Note that all his planes are all tor uh, torpedo bombers or dive bombers. He's got no fighters. Which is probably why he's been seen. He's stuck close to his allied fleet because he's relying on them for air defence. But it's been a bit of a mistake because one, he's been seen and two, he's about to sail within reach of my guns. There he is. He's been punished by our carrier. And now he's about to be punished by me. Look at his smoke. He's going at three quarter speed, it looks like to me. So I aim for that. Get a bit wrong. But I still manage to land around his four quarter for two hits. Eight shots that were accurate enough to hit, and two of them hit. Sigh. Never mind, I shall readjust my aim and try again. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Yes, there we go. That's a game winner. Right there, their carrier's gone. Five minutes in, first kill, their carrier's gone. We have a huge advantage now. We have a carrier, we have planes, we can keep them spotted. Yes, looking good. Two kills and they've got nothing. It's looking very promising. Aside from our cruiser ramming me. Thank you very much. I'm a big slow battleship. I turn slow, I accelerate slow, and you manage to ram me as a cruiser. Well done. Keep up the good work. Our destroyer has charged forward to the middle of the enemy fleet, got spotted and shot, and he's gone. Our carrier has managed to 
disengaged from the island and is now sailing away but he's definitely been spotted and he's been punished by the enemy carrier's final dive bomber attacks now Colorado eh? side on my aim is good one hit no pens yep just about what I expect from a ranked battle I turn away from his reply We've got three kills, so they're one. Things are definitely looking promising. I think we're going to win this battle, you know. I really do. we got a huge advantage. The enemy Colorado seems intent on sailing side on to me. Bound to win. Let's see if we can dissuade this Cleveland from chasing after our aircraft carrier, shall we? That would be useful. Oops, there goes one of our cruisers. Died to a destroyer who had been spotted. Mm, okay. 3-2. So we're still leading. Oh, I'm getting hits. I'm getting hits on a Cleveland at 18 kilometers. Inconceivable. It's like the game engine's trying to give me hope. Hello, there's a destroyer. Our cruiser is still going after the destroyer and the destroyer has been seen so it's probably good by destroyer and that would put us 4-2 up no the cruisers died two torpedoes oh. three kills apiece now games looking even Gonna be up. Cleveland gets rid of the Pensacola. Uh -huh. We're losing three kills to four. We've got multiple Tudor ships out there. The Colorado, big and slow battleship. Ideal for torpedoing. Well, it's got a bit of air defence, but it's got less air defence than the Cleveland. Guess where our carrier's been sending his planes? Yep, that's right. To the ship on the enemy team that is noted for having good anti aircraft. Does he send his fighter off to chase down the destroyer? Keep it spotted? Nope. Probably got some super secret awesome plan for his fighters. Well, well, the shores, eh? Can we? Oh, oh, look at this. Colorado side on, and he's sailing backwards. So he's not going very fast. He's side on to me. 15 kilometers away, uh, medium range, 8 shots of mine, bet, 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 bet. Two hits. Hmm. Looked like we actually did damage, but no citadels. Our carrier has sent his planes to fly over the cruiser. Not the destroyer, the cruiser. Argus. His fighter is going to where the enemy carrier died. He's going after plane kills. He's not trying to win, he's going after plane kills. And he's not finding any. 
Another pop at the shores, and this version puts my shots either side, of course. And here comes another cruiser for another ram. Colorado's still going backwards and he's still side on. The ship is on fire. I've sunk the shores! I've sunk the shores! No citadels, but a couple of hits and I've sunk the shores! Yay! I've pulled it back to evens. And that Colorado's still going backwards and side on. The Cleveland's on. Very few hits indeed. Let's see if we can have him. We can! We can! The crowd are going wild! We're 5-4 up and things are looking good! At last, I'm going to win a battle. Oh, the Colorado's going forwards now. And he's suffering torpedoes! Our carrier's fighters were still going on to Cleveland. Not the destroyer. He is, he's just going after airplane kills. He went after the Cleveland's spotter plane. But uh, his returning torpedo bombers have spotted the destroyer in the B cap circle. So we're even on points pretty much. We're even on. Sh uh, we are even on ships because our cruiser has burnt to death. The Cleveland uh, posthumously burnt our cruiser to death. Three ships. And the game is looking even. Okay, it's not even anymore. The destroyers capped. They got two cap circles against our none. Unless we sink them, they're going to win. They got 200 points to go. Hatsuharu is as fast as I am. He's got an island to hide behind. He's within spotting range and shooting range of our carrier. Our carrier's doomed. Look at this fighter. It's still hovering over the dead Cleveland. Hasn't managed to send it towards the destroyer yet at all. The enemy carrier was sunk 10 minutes ago, and you still haven't put your fighter over the enemy destroyer. And you took no evasive maneuvers despite the fact that the destroyer was seen. You've been sunk by torpedoes. Marvellous. And this Hatsuharu is such an awesome player, he gets spotted by me! Well, he gets spotted by the planes, I suppose. But in a place that I can shoot him. He didn't stay behind the island, safe from me, the last ship on the enemy team. Nope, pops out. Can't hit him, though. Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. I can hit him now. Four kills I've got. Four kills. I've killed more than half of the enemy team myself. Still losing. And... Still going to lose. I can't capture the circle in time to make any difference. My only hope is that a full salvo from me might sink the Colorado, who's on half his hits. Which is pretty unlikely, even at the best of times. But when the game itself is rigged against you, you've got no hope, dangerously, absolutely no hope. Look at it taunting me. I, I didn't see him. None of the planes saw him. How did he get seen again? There you have it. 
one tick away from the enemy winning. I'm allowed to hit people, I'm allowed to do citadels, I'm allowed to sink four out of seven ships, but I'm not allowed to win.